Hey, we are going to learn how to use Google Docs Draw Tool to create a Valentine's Day poster. So we're in our Google Drive and we're going to go to Create and then to Drawing. And you end up with this big space canvas for drawing. And you'll look up here and you'll see lots of tools. So let's start with naming our drawing and name it your last name. and Valentine drawing, Valentine card. Okay, so then you've got your document named and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remember to share our document. So make sure that you click on share and that you invite your teacher. And once you've invited your teacher, you don't have to click the notify people one just hit share and save and it's going to ask if that's really what you wanted to do okay so now we we've taken care of naming it and sharing it so now we're ready to work so you'll see up here that you've got some different tools that you can work with one of them is this shape tool so when we're working with valentines obviously we're going to want to um, do some shapes I'm going to start with this scroll I'm going to make a big scroll here and I want my scroll to be a different color so I'm going to choose up here the paint can and I'm going to fill it with a light pink that doesn't look pink try that again there we go I'm going to fill it with a light pink and if I don't like the black outline I can change the outline color too but I like that okay so I'm going to leave that what I do want to do is I want to change the width of the line so I'm going to make it a little bit fatter so it's easier to see. Then the next thing I want to do is I want to put some hearts in here since it's a Valentine's one. So I'm going to go again to the shapes and you'll see I have different kinds of shapes. This time I'm going to just go to the shapes, find the heart, and I'm going to just get in here and I'm going to draw a heart. And if I don't like where it is, I can move it. And again, I can change the color of inside the heart by just clicking like that. Okay, so now I have a heart. If I wanted to add um, maybe some clip, clip, clip art, if I go here to research and I type in uh, Valentine's and then I go to images. I can actually pick some clip art from over here. Don't let this do all the work for you though. So make sure that if you use the clip art over here that you don't just use clip art and nothing else because that would be boring. So, if you, so put this little guy in here. And then I also want to say Happy Valentine's Day. So you'll see up here, this is a text box. So if I click on the text box, I can choose where I want the text to go. And I just remembered I wanted to do something else. So I can type in the text here if I want to. So I can say Happy Valentine's Day. Or, if I want to get a little fancier, instead of using the text box feature, I can use the word art. So if I go again to um, insert, I can click on word art, and then I can type in what I want to say. And it gives me a couple of things that I can do. So when I click enter, it gives me just um, something that I can color in and do some different things with. Obviously this is too big, but we're going to start here and I'm going to pick this obnoxious color of pink. And then what I want to do is I want to change the font. So I'm going to change it to that. I think that looks a little more and it's a little too big. So I'm going to squish it in. Okay. So here I go with my Valentine's card. 
So now I've already shared it and I've already named it so it's ready to go. So here is my Valentine's card. Now for your project just remember that you're going to go to create and then you're going to go to drawing and then you're going to use the shape tool and the paint can tool and the text box tool in order to get the picture that you want. Happy Valentine's Day.